And right now, flooding is causing major issues on roads near the Fort Gibson area. State Highway 80 around five miles south of State Highway 51 is closed, and so is Highway 10 near US 62. Now, OG&E says nearly 200 customers are in the dark right now in that area. And people are stuck with nowhere to turn near the small town of Hulbert near Sequoia State Park. News on 6's Amy Slanchett continues our team coverage and is on the scene in Cherokee County. Just behind me through these trees is Lake Fort Gibson. And if we walk this way, you can see this part of State Highway 80 is starting to look more like its own lake than a road. A way of life out here pretty much. As severe thunderstorms roll through, people who live near Hulbert aren't surprised to see flood water rushing over the roads, but it's more than they've seen in a while. Cherokee County District 2 road crews worked for about an hour Saturday morning to clear tree limbs and debris off Four Mile Road near Ranger Creek. These guys that work for the county, they they, they really work hard to keep these bridges clear, but they, they can only do so much. And it'll just be a matter of time before this one is back up, you know, where you can't cross it again. And sure enough, the water came rushing back hours later as the storms stayed strong. A couple miles away on State Highway 80. Yes, it's part of the lake right now. All the water and road closures are a familiar sight to Wayne Renton, who says parts of the road have already been closed for the past week. Saturday storms made things worse, but not the worst he's ever seen. Three or four years ago when we had a lot of flooding, it was closed for about three months. And I, there's people that live on past this, and when it gets that high, uh, there's even a couple of families that are pinned in between two places that it's underwater. They actually can't get out. And to anyone who's stuck with nowhere to turn around, Renton says they may be there a while. Folks who live around here say they expect this part of State Highway 80 to be flooded for at least a few more weeks. On the scene, on the story in Holbert, Amy Slanchik, News on 6.